Transsexual diaries Diaries of a raving transsexual Subscribe, bitch! Hi, bitches. This is part two. And this is episode two, I mean. And it's episode two of Transsexual Diaries. You're probably thinking, why the fuck am I feeling twice a day? Because I can. Why the fuck don't you brush? Why don't you brush twice a day? Stay out of my business. Anyways, episode two is cis people. Cis people, I'm not gonna take your projection anymore. For all the trans people in the house, repeat after me. Cis people, I'm not gonna take your projection anymore. I think if you are a fan of my TikTok content, you will know that I really love to go into the psychoanalysis of bigoted people and really dissect how they think, why they think. And because in my life, obviously as a black trans woman who is also like, I have ADHD, so I'm on the spectrum and learning disability, I was beaten up for that, like by my parents, teachers, whatever. I always wondered why, and dark skin, I used to be bullied for being dark skin, so I was bullied my entire life. And it's like, why, why do people treat me like this? Why do people act the way they do? And I realized a lot of the time they were projecting their own trauma, projecting their own insecurities onto me. And trans women, and black trans women most especially, people that are bullied by everybody, especially on that TikTok app. People just want to project their insecurities onto us, especially cis people. And I find that cis het men do it differently, and cis het women do it differently, and cis people do it differently. And this video will dissect why, how, and help you have an understanding, you know, so you cope better in this world and understand these people aren't treating you anyhow because of how you express yourself. They're treating you how because they're ashamed that you have so much confidence and have so much, you know, willingness to deflect the gender norm society has put on you. And it's like a bravery to them that you existing is huge because they don't have the, they could never have the bravery to be you. They could never have the bravery to survive what you survive. They could never have the strength. That's one thing. It takes so much strength and resilience to survive as a trans person, period. And I hope it's something that you know watching this Everything you have survived has brought you into this time and this season. So protect yourself, protect your mind, and understanding why transphobic people treat trans people a certain way, and understanding why certain people might do it, because not everybody thinks that. I've said this in my first video, episode one, which you should go watch if you haven't watched, by the way, to get more context that cis people have this trauma bond with their gender. Trans people aren't the only one that have this trauma bond with their assigned gender. It's crazy to believe that, but it's the truth. They constantly project their insecurities. They constantly project their own notions of what they feel, they, how should they, they should express themselves and how you should express themselves onto you. And that's not your responsibility and that's not your job to handle. So I think it's important that you as a trans person gain the knowledge and gain the understanding of what the projection is. So for cis women, you know, the whole thing is that a lot of cis women are threatened by trans women. And a lot of people will think, oh my God, how does someone with so much privilege, how does someone that have so much access to so much things and has access in terms of expression of womanhood, the title of womanhood, the label of womanhood, you know, the person that gets to embody that freely without any severe consequences like we do, how did they become threatened by us think of every industry think of it the issue is a lot of transphobes don't it's really transphobes of color don't look at intersectionality so i'm going to name two examples and this is stupid but you should get it so think of naomi campbell and tyra banks those are two beautiful black women and naomi campbell came out and then tyra banks came in and they made they put tyra banks to get rid of naomi campbell so for women it's almost like in this patriarchy you can't exist freely. You can't be the top bitch. There always has to be competition between women. Men don't really feel the need to compete with one another like women do. So once women feel anyone takes their spot to not only survive and fight for male validation, it becomes something that they become angry at because they have had access to certain things for the past centuries that trans women could never have access to. And now that we have access to those things, because some of us, for example, I just started hormones a few days ago. And like, I'm very fucking stunning. And I'm very attractive. And I know many girls that are like that. And I do it so effortlessly. I only have foundation on blush and mascara. So I do everything that the normal cis woman has to do. So once they see that someone, quote unquote, that is born a male can possess those things, it becomes like we're taking the spot. When we're not trying to insert ourselves into women's spaces, we're all just trying to be ourselves. We can't even be 
we can't even exist comfortably in any space without anyone kicking us out because we can't exist in male spaces and we can't even exist in female spaces. So that's exactly why they feel as though that trans women are taking their place, taking their spaces, they're inserting themselves into spaces when we've never really done that and we're not even even allowed into these spaces without facing severe consequences when there's so much paranoia and fear we could even lose our lives when we insert ourselves into these spaces quote unquote so it's very important to understand that as much as there is a broken inner child within the little girl that is the cis woman that is confronting you you we shouldn't have to take that from you it's not our responsibility to you know help you heal you need to heal Patriarchy fucks us all up. Capitalism fucks us all up. But it's important that we understand that our expression, and most importantly, our agency when it comes to our expression of our gender, is up to us to decide whether what aesthetic fits us, whatever makes us comfortable in terms of expressing that. You know, for men, I'm talking from the experience of a um, from the point of a black trans woman, so I can only speak on that. For the trans mass, I could make a video if you request, but it won't be as informed. I would probably get people to talk about so I would get a creator that I really enjoy and we could talk about it and I could interview them and they could hear their perspective but this is my perspective as a trans woman who's attracted to men you know a lot of men don't understand that a lot of men so a lot of cis women's fear is being perceived as trans a lot of cis men's fear is being perceived as gay so when they find out that they're attracted to trans women it becomes something where they think they're gay and they think they're queer and it becomes this fear where they think so cis men basically think that they own every woman that they see and when they find out that they're attracted to someone who is trans they become very violent and they become very confused as to how why am i attracted to this person i'm straight they are straight you know because trans women are women and we need to deconstruct the meaning of what you know heterosexuality is whatever that is it's all labels at the end of the day and i don't even conform to those notions because i think they don't make any sense people should like who they like and not put labels on themselves but i really feel that they start then start to think they're gay for liking trans women so obviously they can't tell people and the whole dl culture that surrounds gay men also or and surrounds gay people period surrounds trans people specifically trans women where our violence you know with the panic defense and all kinds of things which i will like put there for you to read you can read that right while i'm talking and you can pause it panic defense so it's important that we educate people and understand that people have a right to like everyone and label themselves however they please and identify, including with sexuality, the same way we see for fucking gender. So we should not shit on people for being attracted to trans women. And even if you are attracted to trans women, for me, it's not my responsibility to help you cope with that. You are attracted to me, great. You're not attracted to me, to me, great. My life and my purpose should not... I think a lot of trans people have gone to the point where we've deconstructed um, how people are attracted to us. And if people are attracted to us, we don't care. You should be attracted to us genuinely. You should be brave enough to face the social consequences because we have to be we have to be brave enough to face the social consequences of existing, not just being attracted to us. So it's not our job to be responsible for your projection of your insecurity of your being attracted to us because I'm not making sense. That made no sense. So you need to unpack your attraction, unpack your sexuality, deconstruct that, and really understand who you're attracted to and who you're not attracted to and stop projecting it onto trans women. It's not our responsibility to help you unpack that. That is something you should do yourself. You are a grown ass man. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. There's so much go for me. She can delete in my bio. Put on the post no notifications and thank you so much. Bye.